everybody. This is Perquito. I got a special treat for you today. Today we have the 2021 CRF 50 and the 2021 Honda CRF 110. Let's take a look at them. Another shot of the size comparison. If you're anything like me being a parent, you were probably wondering which dirt bike to buy your child. Uh, my child, my son was seven years old and uh, I thought the 50 was a good call. Um, I can honestly say that he quickly outgrew it within six months and he has more interest now in riding the 110. So we now have that. Um, the 110 comes with fuel injection and push button ignition where the 50 does not. So your, your son or, or daughter is going to have a hard time kickstarting the bike something to keep in mind. Uh, both these bikes are four-stroke, means you don't have to mix the oil and gas. Uh, they're fairly quiet, so you can ride them in the neighborhood in the backyard like we, what we do. So uh, enough said, let's uh, take these bikes out and see what they got. Oh, and one more thing. These bikes are clutchless. Um, it's an automatic clutch, so it's important you run the correct oil. Uh, follow your manual. It's motor oil, it's not synthetic. All right, let's go ahead. Good morning, good afternoon. This is Brigitte checking in. We're over here at the Wilmot Compound, Dead Donkey Arena. I'm standing on top of the Dead Donkey as, as I speak, and the kids are having a blast today. We got some Honda fever, we got some new Hondas. Here we got the my son on the 50 versus his cousin on the, on the 110 and followed up by the neighbor's boy on a Chinese knockoff 50. So you can see for yourself, we got a jump right here they all just seem to be comfortable with. Okay, there goes my son. That's, a, that's the 2021 CRF 50, and there's the 2021 CRF 110. So if your son is seven and younger, I would say get him the 50. This boy's about six or seven. He's on a Chinese 50, a company's named Six. Now here comes uh, my son on the 50, and you can kind of see he's, he's outgrown it a bit. He had a big growth spurt. So I would say your, if your son's like my son, he'll probably outgrow that 50 by eight years old. And you might want to invest in the 110. This is Burkito. We're here today at the Dead Donkey Arena, Wilmot Compound. Uh, Nathan's pretty much taken over the 110 Honda. This is your CRF 110 Honda, uh, 2021 model. And uh, he took a liking to it. He's kind of already passed up the 50. You can see his size. He's, he's now eight years old and he's on that 110 and he's just a bat out of the hill now. Get a quick run with the bikes, get a feel for them, see what's going on. And there's one thing I, I we need to notice about Honda is a big problem. And I'll show you what happened is they don't come with any kind of guard for the motor here. You know, big problem. So I, I've been hitting the hitting the exhaust here. And if you can look on the 50 over here, I actually broke something when I rode it. Not having that brush guard, I actually broke the fins right here botting them out I shouldn't have been on the 50 anyhow but I did break it so let this be a warning to all make sure you get the guards and uh, I know there's a lot of aftermarket parts as far as suspension because I did bottom out but uh, overall I can't complain it's the Mercedes bin of dirt bikes so again I think the Honda 110 is well worth buying it's costy but well worth the money versus the Chinese knockoffs. And you can see the boy, he won't even get off the 50. He's digging it. 
But I can see the only thing I see as a problem is not having those brush marks. So uh, make sure you get those guards before you do damage like I do. All right, this is Burkito. Checking in, checking out.